Hello and welcome to Learning to Breathe. Today you're joining me for the third weekly check-in for the month of October. As you can see we've already got week one and week two sorted and today we'll be doing the weekly check-in for the 15th to the 21st of October. So get yourself comfy, get yourself a drink and we'll be right back. The 15th of October was my payday and the first spend that I had on that day was a Kindle purchase of 99p. Um, I am running low on the spending so some of these will have to just go under miscellaneous even though I'm running low on those as well I'm doing so well um, so that was Kindle and it was 99p um, I am running low on stickers I have just done a big order so hopefully they will come through soon there you go um, the next spend was at Tesco and that was £4.50 here we go. So that was Amazon for £8.99. And I'm putting that on miscellaneous. So the first savings I did was a year challenge that I'm doing. And I put £5 into that saving challenge. Um, I also put, and I will show it in this, £10 into the wedding challenge that I'm doing. This isn't our wedding. Um, me and my, well, obviously I've said husband, so we're already married. Uh, two of our friends are getting married um, coming up very quickly so whenever I can I put some money in um, as you can tell I'm running out of space so I'm just going to put it here and then I also put an extra tenner into our Christmas fund so I'm going to put that down as well I did do a cash stuffing which is on my YouTube channel I will make sure to link that in the um, description bar if you want to go and watch that and you can see me stuffing um, my savings my next expense was on the 16th and this was a takeaway. My husband was on a stag do um, and I wasn't feeling too great and didn't really fancy cooking. I did have a ready meal but you know when you just really don't want to. So I treated myself to a pizza. So it was Pizza Hut and it was £13.49. Um, I have put takeaway on here because we've actually had quite a few this month. Um, on the 17th we did our big grocery shop so that was Tesco and that was £69.23 our grocery budget has now gone up to £90 a week um, so we were quite under budget here and we did go to Sainsbury's afterwards some of our groceries were missing so that Sainsbury's cost us £10.65 Um, I had no expenses on the 18th and I also didn't have any expenses on the 19th. Um, on the 20th I had two expenses. The first one was for groceries. Always expenses for groceries. And that was for £14.52. And, And my next expense was at the post office and this was to um, post a very important letter. Um, I did kind of get conned with this though because we did next day delivery which cost £7.65 but then we found out there was no way of tracking it. So I do feel quite ripped off with that one. So I've just got to hope that it got there before Friday otherwise I'm going to have some issues next month. And that was on the 20th. So that's them all written out for the week. So now we're going to go on to oh, that's um, tracking all our expenses for the week. If you've seen my last week's video, um, you will know that I have actually changed this up. And um, I'm now going to write down whether it is um, a grocery expense, a miscellaneous expense. And I'm going to continue doing that this week. Um, so as I always do, I will start writing them out and then I will skip ahead because you've already seen what I've spent so it saves you having to go through them all again. The post office which was spending slash miscellaneous because I've run out of stickers and that was 
£7.65. Um, yeah, that's fine. So um, next week I'll have to put an extra sheet on top because obviously I've now run out of space. And now we're back to complete the weekly check-in. So our first category is for groceries. Um, as usual, I am using my phone to film this video. So I've got my iPad out. And for groceries, we have got... So that's 98, so that's 98.90. I think that's the closest we've been to our actual budget all month. Um, we still had a little bit left over because the person was still here. Um, so we need to be careful. I think next month we need to be a lot stricter. It's been a heck of a month, but yeah. Um, I'm going to put zero because we were actually over, we were £8.90 over, um, but we were a lot closer than we have been other, month, other weeks. Um, for spending, I'm going to include the post office in spending, um, but the other miscellaneouses will go into miscellaneouses. So for miscellaneous, uh, sorry, so for spending, I spent 99p, add seven pounds 65 um i'd just got paid and um i had a little um i'd budgeted myself um some money for the rest of the month because they i needed to get some more stickers um i knew there were some expenses coming up so i had budgeted myself some more money so eight pounds 64 and remaining i believe was around 20 pounds Takeaway was £13.49. Uh, there was nothing remaining in takeaway because usually we don't do takeaways. Um, so that came from a different account. In miscellaneous, we just had the one expense which was £8.99 for this very stand. And again, nothing remaining. Um, and we didn't spend any unbudgeted. So that's our weekly check-in completed. Um, definitely some things to look into for next week and October, um, for next week and November. Um, but I am glad that things are slowly starting to calm down, especially because the start of the month was quite hectic with um, having a visitor. So now we're going to go to the start of the monthly layout and um, have a look and see what our no spends are at. Don't get me wrong, I do enjoy a colourful layout but this is way too many stickers for one person well two people um so yes this this needs to be re-looked at for november but yeah um looking back for our no spends um i had a no spend on the 18th i'm using different no spends because i'd run out of these ones so there's a no spend on the 18th there was a no spend on the 19th and no spend on the 21st. So I had three no spend days this week. So in total, we've got so far, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So already I'm one away from my 10 total for the month. So that's a nice thing to know this close to the end of October that I'm already at my, that I'm so close to my 10 days no spend for the month. So um, yeah, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I really hope you give it a like and you comment. Um, if you haven't already, I really hope you subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Bye.